I'm gonna ask you one last time, Thomas. What do you know about them? <laughs> What's so funny? You, all of you. Did you really think I would tell you about them? You see, what you've done to me, it's nothing. It's mere child's play compared to what they would have done. So you do know about them? Personally, no. But I have seen them in action. When? At the mayor's office. And? And. And they called me. They said that you guys didn't need me anymore, and they were coming to tie up some loose ends. So they know all about us? I live too soon. Watch them. I expect results, Donovan. Well, you're not gonna be too happy. He's refusing to say a word. I've gotten so far as it somehow they found out about the boss's plans for Tom. And then they called him, and then it just blew our cover. And I don't know who, but man, I'm pretty sure we got a leak. Why don't you just worry about your own business? And don't worry about my own, okay? I've taken certain precautions to make sure we have no leaks. All right, all right. Just don't get your panties in a wad. I'm gonna state my opinion. And you would do well to keep those opinions to yourself. The point is, the boss will not be happy when I tell him what happened today, especially with the election on the horizon. Don't you worry about the election. My boys and I, we've got that all under control. How? By putting a bullet through the campaign manager's head? Listen, if you got a problem with that, you can go take it up with the boss. It was his plan, not mine. Whoever's idea it was, it was a terrible one. See, now we're left in the final stages of the election with no one to run our campaign. Hello? Donovan! Hey, you there? What's up? <laughs> Who the heck is this? How'd you get this number? One of your boys gave it to me over his last breath. Where are you? We're coming. Have you ever stopped to think about how your actions affect everyone? How everything you've done in your life has led you up to this very moment? Are there things you would have changed? People you might not have killed, perhaps? Shut up! Huh, seems I've struck a nerve. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, don't tell me. You've killed so many people on your path to self-righteousness that you've grown numb to the pain. I said shut up! You listen to me. I'm gonna find you and your stupid brother and I'm gonna rip your limbs off one by one. And just as you feel the sweet embrace of death, I will make sure to keep you alive so you can experience real pain. That's just the thing, Donovan. You and your men have made me feel real pain before. You took the one thing from me that I can never get back. I want you to think very hard. What all have you done to Thomas while torturing him? Hmm? Some electric torture, waterboarding, heck, maybe even the classic beating him until he's unconscious. And he still won't speak. Yeah, he says that you would do 10 times worse things to him. Well, I guess you have to ask yourself one question. What would they do that has an entire town scared to even mention their names? What do you want from us? <laughs> Your blood. Hey man, what happened on the phone? What are you doing? The only thing we can do, we gotta destroy the evidence. Grab a gas can. 
Now, Parks! No, please take me with you. You can't let me die. Sorry, pal. We asked for your help, and you are in no service. So expect the same in return. You can't do this. You can't let me die here. Sorry, Tommy boy. Just tying up some loose ends.